Hi, explorers. Today, my story is called, I Will Go and Come Back. The author's name is Rajani La Roca, and the illustrator is Sarah Palacios. I noticed when I opened the book and looked at the end pages, this pattern is right here on this woman's sari. A sari is a dress that Indian women wear, very beautiful. I wonder if the end pages will change, the end pages will change in the back. Uh, keep in mind there are a lot of Indian words in this book and I will do my best with their pronunciations. Here we go. For the first time since I was a baby, I flew across the world to see aunties and uncles, cousin brothers and cousin sisters and Sita Patti. But India was so different from home. The sky thundered and poured through the humid air. Mosquitoes whizzed when I tried to sleep. Street dogs woke, woke me at dawn and trunks honked and children chattered and neighbors gossiped on crowded roads. Everyone stared. In the morning and evenings, the house was packed with relatives and friends. But during the day with my cousins at school, I was lonely and I wanted to go home. Then Sita Patti called me, Jodi, Vama. She didn't speak much English and I didn't speak much Tamil, but we understood each other. Back, she asked, teeth. All finished, I said, and then I tried the Tamil. Yelalachi? She laughed and took my hand. Rankoli, said Sita Pati. We made designs in the courtyard with colored sand, bright pink and sparkling blue and dazzling gold. She dressed me in the same colors and took strand, touched strands of jasmine in my hair. She took me to the market. I'd never seen so many types of vegetables. One looked like it could slither away. Pa da val, said Sita Patti, a snake gourd. Let's get okra uh, instead, I said. At home, we played the game called Balangiri. Sometimes Patty counted wrong. She liked to win. Sita Patti made chapatis, hot, hot, and flipped them with her bare fingers. I ate one with spicy okra and cool yogurt rice. We spent our days playing and reading and cooking. At night, we sipped warm milk with saffron to bring us sweet dreams. When it was time to go home, I didn't want to. I held Patty's hand with its soft, soft skin. Her sari rustled and smelled of silk. Goodbye, I said. Boyetuvara, asked Sita Patti. Will you go and come back? And I remembered that no one in India just said goodbye. I'll go and come back, I said. Boyetuvaran. The next summer, Sita Patti flew across the world to visit us in America. She seemed smaller than I remembered. The sun blazed and the air conditioning droned. The street stayed empty and silent. Patti told my mom she couldn't so much as hear a sparrow chirp from inside the house. Patti looked lonely. I wondered if she wanted to go home. I still don't speak much Tamil, but she still didn't speak much English, but we understood each other. Bath, I asked, teeth. Yella achi, she said. She remembered to put them in. I laughed and shook her hand. Hopscotch, I said. We drew on the sidewalk with chalk, bright pink and blue and sunny yellow. I dressed Patty in the same colors. We shopped at the grocery store. She'd never seen so many types of bread. Chapati, asked Patty. Tortilla, I said. We played the same game. Oh, we played a game called Shoots and Ladders. Patty still liked to win. So did I, but I counted right most of the time. We made hot, hot quesadillas and ate them with salsa, and Patty chose coconut chutney. We spent our days playing and reading and cooking. At night, we sipped hot cocoa to bring us sweet dreams. When it was time for Patty to go home, I didn't want her to. Patty said, Boy tu varen, and then I will go and come back. Her skin was as soft as ever. Patti flew back home to India, but our love stretched across the world and we both remembered our promises to go and come back. Oh, look at this page, matches her sari here. And the end pages in the back match that 
little sari there, our little dress. I'm not sure which. My goodness, my friends, I hope I did okay in pronouncing some of those words. That was a tough one for me. Um, I like the story how it mirrored each other. The things that they did in India together were the same things that they did here in America together. And even though they didn't speak the same language, they definitely found ways to communicate and have fun together. Until next time, explorers.